Yeah, it felt amazing. I mean, going into the game, everyone was so excited, and we were so lucky to be able to actually have a season this year that I think we really have a strong appreciation for being out there on the court together and for being able to put all the hard work to use and actually get to compete. So everyone was extremely excited at the show. That was an amazing feeling. I mean, this team has worked so hard, especially recently, just to, to give everything that they've got. And, to get out there and compete and be able to put that last ball down was an amazing feeling because I know, you know anyone out there would do that for the rest of us and the confidence that we have in each other is better than it's ever been so it feels feels amazing to be able to be part of that. Absolutely. I think our mindset is better than it's ever been. I think the confidence coming from the back row, the passing was incredible because they know what they're capable of and they did it. Um, on top of that, I think 2K did an incredible job mixing it up. She's been really good about that and strategically she's on point and she's also just executing amazingly. and. When everybody, anybody got the ball, the hit. I'm sorry. When everyone, whenever anyone got the ball, the hit, they were able to put it away because they put us in a really good position. Yeah, I mean, what what can you say? I mean, those were some of the two best sets of volleyball that William and Mary has played in who knows how long consecutively. I mean, we stayed on the offensive the entire time. Um, there wasn't a ball that it felt like our attackers didn't like and didn't want to swing at. And uh, you know, most importantly, we set a game plan and we stuck to it. And and execute on it really well. I thought the communication was great. I thought transition people were picking up those um, balls and trans and giving our attackers more swings and more swings, and we just kept the heat on it. Um, you know, I think that led to, to more opportunities for all of our attackers. So this is part of the game plan. This is what we've been practicing for six weeks, is if we can just keep dumping good passes into the pocket, 2K is gonna find the right attackers at the right time and the right distribution. And that's exactly what she did. So number one, it's a, it's a great credit to the setter when you hit you know, whatever we ended at 326. It, it's a great compliment to um, Caitlin Houghton that she is just delivering, um, you know, delivering the ball to the attackers in the right sequence. And when attackers are all on and you're mixing and matching, you know, it keeps the it keeps the block guessing. You know, you're not quite sure where to deploy your, your block resources. Um, and then on top of that, again, the back row and in transition, AP and Gabby digging balls. Maddie Myers dug a ton of balls too, and she just kept plays alive. And it, it's that little, it's that little bit of momentum when, the play seems dead, it's kind of wonky, and you create something. And that's what our team did. They did a great job creating and transition. And, um, you just can't say enough, too, about our passers. I and mean, you saw a ton in set one and two. They're just dumping balls in um, and, and just piling up good passes. And it's really fun to run an offense with the attackers that we have when you're able to kind of pick and choose who to, who to set. It's everything, everything is to the credit of Kate. Um, she has worked her tail off studying film. She comes to practice uh, with kind of a sketch of how she wants to run the offense in practice. And, you know, consults her notes, checks out, you know, is, is evaluating practice film. And is constantly working out of craft, watching the best players in the world when we watch pro film. She's watching, you know, our girls and, and getting to know them too. And, and so she knows the temperament of all of our girls and when, you know, they need what they need and when they need it. And that's what great setters do. And she is just working her tail off. And when you work that hard, it pays off on game day. You're not guessing because you've done it a million times and leading up to those six weeks again, when she's breaking it down every single day on game, you just let it fly and just let it out like we said. And um, Just really proud of her. Um, you know, it's not easy when you're when you're taking over for somebody like Autumn Brenner who's made some career marks here. And man, did 2K say, I want that and more.